Welcome to Cannes. It is lovely. <laughs> Oh, that is a big, big wheel. <laughs> hey everyone, my name is Jeffy and this is part two of my travel vlog on my trip in the south coast of France. Today, I'm in the beach resort of Cannes, world famous for its yearly film festival and award ceremony, as well as some of the best stretch of beaches in the world with the bluest warm water of the Mediterranean. Palm trees, super hot weather and fantastic restaurants serving the best food in the country, it's another place that attracts rich and famous. And a poor vlogging puppet with a pencil stuck in his nose and a helmet on. One of my favourite pastimes is to sit back and watch the people go by. Or going to the beach and watch the giant cruise ships sailing in or sailing away on their next amazing adventure. Once again the heat was getting too much, so I decided to move up the coast to a place called Antibes and check out Marineland, a large outdoor marine animal zoo. The biggest attraction for me though is the giant stages where they have some great shows featuring dolphins, penguins and the most amazing killer whale show I have ever seen. Featuring three killer whales doing gravity defying flips and spins in the air. Why don't you check it out with me? It's fun! So, my uh, life thoughts on this um, it was very amazing to see this. I've never actually seen a whale show before, and to see creatures that were this big just doing everything that they were trained to do absolutely flawlessly was amazing. They're like very very big very very dangerous but super loyal puppies obviously they throw a lot of fish to them and i don't know how many tons of fish these must eat in a day i should probably check that out but you just see how slowly they move how graceful they move but when they need to go fast they're amazingly fast <laughs> So here we go, you got the people there getting them to jump up and to do all the stunts. I was absolutely speechless. So they got three trainers and there are three killer whales in the actual tank itself. So at the moment, I don't know if the three trainers are out yet, but they will be there soon. So you can work out by the hand signals of what move each killer whale is going to do. So you see there, the, the guy puts his hands up in the air straight, which means they'll just do one straight in the middle of the tank jump. When he pushes his hands to the right, then you can look over to the right, and the killer whales are gonna do the jump there, or to the left, and it's the same, they jump to the left. So each hand movement decides what the killer whale is gonna do. So how the killer whales are swimming round, and how they're able to actually see the instructors and to know when to do the move is just an amazing training feat. Um, and, and like even at certain points they'll do timing where we got the three trainers and as I said each trainer has one killer whale who will be watching that one trainer and they'll time it where they'll, they'll jump out one after the other in perfect timing when the trainer hops their hand up. But you see they go over to the sides there and the trainer will give them a load of fish and then set them off with their hand signals to do whichever move it is. I mean, the animals are amazing. This is just so majestic. And, uh, you know, it's amazing and relaxing. Look at that. There's two killer whales just swimming upside down, going past each other very nicely, very smoothly. Absolutely amazing. I have no idea how much water is in that tank, but uh, imagine what would happen if the sides cracked and the entire place would be flooded. Although I've never seen Killer Whale Show before, I have been to places where they do have live animal shows with the water. 
and usually they'll have the group at the front is able to get drenched so you know you can sit there if you choose to they will usually show you which seats are gonna get wet but uh, in this one they had a uh, quite a big space between the actual tank and where the people are so i don't know if that's a cleanliness problem or if people are you know more likely to sue these days who knows i don't know but here we go Ooh. What are the whales going to do? Um, they're going to turn around and go back. Now you see there, the guy doing the hand signals there. Wow, look at that. <laughs> they're just like giant, giant puppies. Wow, super amazing. It's very good that they've actually got the cameras on the, the show itself because sometimes once the killer whales actually go underneath the water you, you don't know where they're going to come out of. Wow, whale singing. Reminds me of uh, Finding Nemo. <laughs> That's how Dory speaks to the whales. Fantastic. Okay, like this. Where are the whales? Nobody knows. Ah, there he is, popping up. <laughs> that is amazing. Um, views like this. Um, look at that. It's going to be amazing to be the trainer where you've just got these whales that are outright, you know, just acting with you. Nodding, spinning, and everything else. Obviously, you know, the thing to remember is, although they look super friendly, and um, they're doing everything that the, uh, the trainer wants to do, um, none of them actually get in the tank with them because they kill the whales, and as with any animal, they're very, very 